Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, let's reverse back and start from the beginning. This place that we're at is an active testing firing range. 1950s. When the red flag is flying, the bombing range... Oh, there's a car behind you. Oh, oh, it's basically like a testing range for like bullets and guns and bombs and all different manner of shit. But it was apparently going to be the site for where the UK was going to stage their space agency. Don't know what we'd call oh, it. Oh, like Bassa. Bassa, yeah. Do we need to go there? We need to go in there. Basically, there's just like loads of like abandoned planes and helicopters and all Shit. manner of gubbins. You hear that? I think it's just the clouds. <laughs> what, the clouds make noise? There it is. Oh my fucking god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, folks, I used to fly one of these in this thing called my imagination. Is it called Shaggy Dog? Oh, yeah. Signal? Oh, guess what it is? Mr. Ubu Jabba has accepted your follow request. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who didn't know, I was, it's where I has followed 400 mm. Indian accounts for some Overnight. reason. Overnight. Overnight. Nice Christmas tree right next to it. I wonder if that was strategic parking. Oh, look. Look, there's a hole there too. Why do the fucking engine is still in it? Come here. Why don't you fucking, why do I have to come here? No, in? I want you to look through there and look at the airflow thing that comes through to the engine. Jesus Christ, massive. Like the wings. Do they fold up? Well, there's no. bullet holes in it. Of course there's bullet holes in it, they shoot at it. They do not. They do not, they do. Do you think I should get into the cockpit or is that a bit no. too far? You think too far? What, you're gonna hurt his feelings? What the fuck? Does it feel like you're in a, a fighter jet? Well, you are. What do you can see fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't think the window's very clean. No, I mean like just the area that I can see out of. Can you see this very well? This is fucking stupid. But why do these things exist? I want to read some of these. Why is it not in English? It's not in English. Oi, dear. It's in French. Brian, secure parking. I found handbrake. It's actually crazy that people fly this shit. You look at this and you just think, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I'm assuming these are some kind of ammo box. No? Ammo? Yeah? Yes, John? Have you seen that? Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Anyone got any ideas? What, so what I've just noticed is, you see all these little holes like around there and stuff? Now in my head, I'm not an engineer of any sort, as you all know, but you'd think they'd be rivets, not just screws. Just screwed together. It's a bit fucking worrying. You know what, Norton? Norton. I don't like I don't know anything about explosives, but that looks like something you'd put on the ground, put the explosive in it, and then blow it up. Like a massive shrapnel there. Yeah, like a yeah. I feel like Annie Schwarzenegger on true lies. So this would have been a big runway, wouldn't it? And then that's a separate one as well. That's nuts. I think this one, if that one was in French, I think this one is surely is an RAF one. Although that doesn't look like the RAF symbol, so perhaps not. Yeah, Wrong colours. It's, it's a red in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. The blue. That must be France. Probably. God, I'm fucking, my back's fucked. <laughs> Just, so? does that say sabotage? Is this sabotage? And there's a button that you can press. So is that like, oh, like the self-destruct button? Does that fuck the engine up so it can't be used? Maybe. Because if you think back... If you crashed it, you wouldn't want them to get the if technology, you would you? think back to the Concorde testing place, young Sam, he explained that when some Russian planes got shot down or fell down and they tested them in there. Oh, yes, they did, yeah. So like... If you so is that like, if you, like, if you crash out, land somewhere, you yeah. press that button and it blows it up? Well, I don't know about blowing it up. But then again, it is carrying explosives on board. But having said that, you wouldn't put the button 
on the outside of the plane because if you hit a pigeon or something and it pressed that button, you see, but you'd fucking plane would blow up. You know I, was, I was saying on my camera earlier, right, you'd think it'd be riveted together. I think it is. It's little screws. What? What? Where do you have to take this apart with a screwdriver? With a fucking drill. Oh no, yeah, but there's rivets here, look. Mm. Yeah, these are screws. Look, but look. Screws. Yeah, there's loads. All screwed down. Shh. They land on this runway, you know. <laughs> what, are they off-road planes? Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck do you fly that? Man? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, there's absolutely shitloads. Oh Best day I've had this year. Has Ian been here? I don't think so. He <laughs> <laughs> won't wow. drive this far up north. Too what? busy counting his money. You know what? I'm, I wish I knew enough about planes to know what oh the god. fuck they are. These are tank tracks, aren't they? No. It's a dinosaur footprint. Ah. I'm very fucking shocked that the jet engines are still in there. You'd think they'd take them out and repurpose them. Give them to a chav that's going to put it in the back of a saxo or something to run round Santa Pod. These little panels that you... That just looks like it come off. Yeah. Yeah, it's just to cover fucking up this happen. gap here, isn't it? Yeah. So it doesn't look like the shoddy made. It's like oh. fascia. Is it a Soviet? That's what I was thinking. Is it Soviet? Be careful, I'll stand in that end of it. Be careful all standing on end of here. Al, it goes thousands of feet in the air and holds an entire plane up. I think it can Wings manage me and Norton. Yeah, but they don't break. Well, it's old and you two are old. <laughs> no, I don't think it is, is it? It's got Star on it. Star David. <laughs> Knew you were going to say Star David. <laughs> Anyone any ideas? <laughs> Fuck all you. You reckon there's more over that? Well, there's helicopters. This one's in English. I seen the helicopter. That's why I wanted to come. Oh, you didn't want to come because you wanted to be with your friends. <laughs> it's like, where can you go in yeah. your life where there's just like four abandoned planes in a field? Right here, right now, baby. Oh yeah, obviously. Are you going to have a look over the ridge? I was. Are you going to spoil it? Yeah, this, we've got some helicopters to you find. Spoiled it now. What me? No him. There. Science. What are you doing? It's telling them where the air goes. Oh, the people who watch our videos, they're not four. You don't need to talk to them like the children. I'm not. Being science man. <laughs> you couldn't sound any more like a child. I could be really wrong, but I did watch a video on it a very, very many months ago. But you watched a video on how they measure the speed of an aircraft? Yeah, I watch a lot of science videos on YouTube. It's something to do with when air hits that and it breaks off. Yeah. They measure how it goes through that hole. Past there and into there. Right. I don't know how or why, but it is. Because it's very different to measuring the speed of a land vehicle, isn't it? Because you can yeah, measure the speed you, of a land yeah. vehicle with the friction on the ground. Because you're flying. Yeah, so you need to measure it with air friction. But then it depends on how thick the air is, doesn't it? It does, so that's why it's got a device in there that measures the the height that they are and mm. then makes the calculations with the air flow to figure out the speed. So how fast is this going? One sec. It's still. I'm going to see what's over this ridge. See what goodies we've got. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay, wow. Anti aircraft gun. There's some more stuff over there. I love this shit. What are you doing? I'm just stretching my back. Oh. Yoga time. It looks like you're presenting yourself. Well I have. When in Rome. I'm not gonna say it over. Army in it. All gay. Come on. Get get stuck in. <laughs> it's not gay if you use a gun. Is that the brake? Oh god! That's, that's, the, not even that's the brake. Is it? Fuck, there's no wrong with this plane. Bit of WD fart, we get this bitch flying. <gasps> it it comes out No. 
A bit of turbo. No. Is it some kind of sexual device used by the Mormons? No. The Mormons big on sexual devices. Hold your hands out. What am I holding? Is that heavier than you imagined it to be? No. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. That, it? That's out of a washing machine. Get Chris Stacy on it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I was going to say something really inappropriate, but I just can't do it. What were you going to say? Nothing. Oh, come on, tell me. I love it when you say inappropriate shit. Alright, I was going to say my big... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Can you tie this one? Oh, fucking good one, huh? Well done. Do you know last time we got caught on MOD property? Yeah. We got told that we could be done for terrorism. Yeah. I can see a tank. There's just something about army tanks. They're just incredibly fucking cool. That's a right whip, isn't it? What the fuck is that? Holy shit. Is that... What? what? Look in the distance. That's the helicopter that they went to. Oh, you fucking having a laugh? We've got to go all the way over there. Look, that's the... That's the base. That's the active bit over there. I don't know if you've got to see this. Has it got a reg? Yeah. That's Reg, what, what, what year is it? How the fuck did you get in? you got to get in either from top. I can't jump. That's a radar, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not an aircraft, isn't it? Yeah. Is it windows? With little windscreen wipers. Go on, Martin. Uh, it's like they do on a... Uh, it looks like that been, that's been welded to that. Oh, look, another little windscreen. I can get in this bit. Oh, go on, I'm getting that bit. Is that where you put your lunch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in, I'm in. Get your sandwiches in oh, there. A pack of amber leaf and a milk bottle top. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of over there, there's like some guy sat in, in air traffic control tower and he's like, Alan, some twats are on tank again. For the moment of truth. That's not opening. You, I think you're getting that one, don't you? In this one? Uh, got no, the top bit. That? Yeah. How the fuck do you open that? In the handle. But that helicopter over there is like... Miles. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's awesome. Boys. Rapid fire. What are you? Souvenir. Oh, sick. Log to the spa. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? Spoil for choice. It's like a plain supermarket. It's like a plain soup. You know, a big broth full of planes. Holy fuck. What the hell? Let's set this one at a time. Let's have a look at the truck first. Who is that? Hold on. Take that sticker off because that's just fucking annoying. Right, apart from that, it's like, they've put, well that's not even, that's a whole, the whole fucking door, they've like put things over them. My original thought was maybe they were using technology, like testing technology on it, so they could drive without seeing. But then I saw how old the fucking thing was and probably just realised they've probably done it to stop people going inside it. What the fuck is that? What did you do? That's a strapped piece of plastic explosive to it. These do weird me out a little bit because they're like fresh. That one's got a jacket on. I think we should like get this bit done and go pretty quick because the building's right over there. Yeah. Yeah, they do look French, don't they? Yeah. Bit sissy. A bit what? Bit sissy. Bit tapet. Bit tapet. <laughs> what? Do, what? Is. Don't I, do that! You do it all the fucking time. Yeah, I know, but like, I, I know that I know what's going on. I don't. <laughs> Just plane after plane after plane. Interestingly though, these lot, these ones aren't covered in bullet holes. Because these are the ones that they're testing today. <laughs> Literally, the freaking building is there. Right. If I, we can see them, they can see us. Yeah, true. Are we going to go back? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, called the paint that. job on that as well. Dairy. <laughs> That's so cool. 
That's the best one we've seen yet. Yeah, that's, cool. that's a cool plane, isn't it? This one's cockpit is intact. It's got the seat in it. Did you say these were for refueling? The sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, like you go to a refueling plane and you shove that thing in. So they go to like pull up at a BP and. No, like they pull up at a plane with BP written on the side, uh, like behind it, and fly behind it and shove that in its hole and. Flaps the to yeah. open to pull. More Have you seen? Look. Only if they've seen us. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh wow. It is in Russian, isn't it? Are oh, you playing nuts watching this at home? What is this? It's, it's called a cone. Because all the other ones have had them taken out. Yeah, but they might just be taken off. Like, it's easy to I'll be careful because there's active bombs underneath it and there's someone asleep inside. Why do we have other people's planes? In a field? Because if you're going to blow something up, you don't blow up your own property. That's a very good point. I feel really Can exposed. you hear that? What? Just, yeah, let's just do it and get the fuck out of it. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? Yeah. Right, okay, this is... Whoa, the echo in here is cool. This is the weird part. Why has it got a window in it? Oh, there's a little man that lives in there. <laughs> Called Tony. I can hear talking. I heard voices, and they're not in my head, because they're not telling me to kill. I want to get out of here, because we had talking up there. So when you're in a place like this, your senses are heightened by 10. If that makes any sense whatsoever, basically you're paranoid as fuck. Even if we got seen, sort of. and like they drove over, they probably just tell us to piss off. Well, and they must to get be fair, this a lot. Lordy, lordy, if they interrogated us to see if we were like Russian spies or something, no, they'd I'll listen just... to me and be like, you're too thick to know what you're looking at. Just fuck off, please. I think we should probably say, because like obviously a lot of people come to places that we go to. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't bother <laughs> coming here. They're the original planes that we first saw when we came over that ridge. This helicopter we're going to is the dog's bollocks. We could see the helicopter. Now I've seen pictures of the helicopter and it's like brand new and awesome. Fuck. Yeah, so we saw it on a ridge line over there, which is a good couple of clicks, I'd say. But underfoot, it's not exactly the easiest of walking. Did you hear a bark? Mm. I literally do feel like we're in Lord of the Rings. Okay, <laughs> we've been trekking for a while, but we are out of the view of the uh, the military base, which is good. There she buzz. Got to get them peanuts today. Do you know what I mean? Full of energy. It's there. Uh, Finally. It's the one from Goldeneye that got stolen. Yeah, the Russian one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, window. <gasps> it's full of soldiers. Big bomb. Ah, oh, yeah, shit, there is. Ah, oh, that's like. I don't know if you're able to see this. Mark. What? Fucking hell, it's diamond stitch leather seat. You can get in? Yeah. Oh, does this go heavy? Oh, sorry, is it really heavy? Don't drop. Ow! Oh, wow. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, I smell so bad. Yeah, I do. Can you go over here? Sorry. up and it's right in my nose. Oh, that. Did you want to get in? That was the gunner's seat. The pilot's is up there. Try to get in? What a, what a trick. Can you see the planes right over there? Yeah, we've walked that far. Let's just have an actual look around. Oh, ow, what? Look. How thick that glass is. Checking the cell, is it Alfred's? There'll have been a camera on here. 
Oh, so this is a drone? Yeah, so like you see in there, there's like two microscope holes. Right. So I imagine they'll look through that and you can look through the camera. And look, one here as well. So what are you telling me, lad, is this is the first ever model? Oh DJI. no, How, having said that, it might not have been a camera, it might have been the gun. Uh oh, it might have been night vision. Oh, night vision? But there's two cameras there, or what was a camera, I yeah, assume. Yeah, but base can look then, can't they? And be like, like their feet will be like, look at these bogeys. Well, if you look, I don't know if it was that Should advanced. Should we take the shot at these civilians? Yeah, do we? I don't think it was that advanced, Matt, because when you look at inside, you should be able to see inside. There's like, it's like two microscope holes. Oh, it's not like a screen or anything like that. Oh, I can tell by the chair. So it might have been like, you know, old school cameras, like film cameras. Yeah, look, have you seen the lock on it? Totally old school. <laughs> Is that original? This is actually... Really than this is actually like one of my favourite helicopters. Yeah, same. Because of Golden Eye. Yeah. Should we try and get in Gunner's seat? Yeah. I'd rather the Gunner. How the fuck would you get into it? Because I'm going to lift that up and climb in at the same time. Please don't drop it. It's not that heavy, Al. Yeah, but it's heavy over a long period of time. Well, yeah, because you're holding it for an hour. You think of that Indian man? <laughs> Sick. Don't know why they repaint it, though. Let's see what you've got there. So you sat here, that obviously would have been clear. Then there's... Your buttons here. See, it was German law idea, but they've put these little labels over all the buttons. German? No, not German, Russian, so sorry. Be. I think we can read faces. Yeah, look, that's well cool. Like, all mm -hmm. things have got English translations. Yeah. I've got visions of me slipping and that going straight up my arsehole. Well. What are you trying to do? Sit on a rotor? No, I want to try and spin this. Holy shit, that is actually moving. <laughs> This has been, um, you know, when they move them on a warrior, they untight, untighten them and they put all the propellers to the back. Yeah. I think it's untightened. Yeah, so you could move them all to the back. I think when they do it, not, they probably get a machine to do it. I don't it's think, hydraulic. I don't think it's some, got a hole in it. yeah, I don't think some bloke just stands there and moves it with his hands. I'm with a bad back, is no joke. Uh, keep going, keep going. No, lift oh, wait, it up. You're not, you're not near the hook. Oh, 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 there you go. You're, where, where? I've got your leg. There you go, you're on it. <laughs> How the fucking cunt to get out of that? <laughs> it's weird, you'd have ladders, wouldn't you, to get into it? No. Quick, quick right, but that's that, that, that cockpit opens on the other side of that one. Yeah. So you'd think, for practicality, you'd have one big set of ladders that go up there so you can get in both. Mm. But you'd have to have one yeah, small was, set of ladders. But no, and it was designed by Russians. Fucking Ruskies. Getting attacked by shit. Right. It's time to say bye. Oh, man. It's been a long four hours. Thanks for watching again, and uh, would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button. Over and out.